Nikki here with you and I got a lot of comments about people wanting to see me make my lasagna so in the crock pot so I wanted to share it with you guys um, so that's what we're going to be doing and the recipe comes from taste better taste better from scratch.com the slow cooker lasagna and it's super easy to uh, to make um, which is going to be perfect because I just had an implant in installed in my mouth and I have to eat stuff that's not too hard and that won't get into uh, that area so this is going to be perfect for this so I've pulled out two of my spaghetti sauce that I canned uh, back in September and I'm going to be using those I've pulled out as well some uh, oven ready lasagna uh, which is going to be perfect for this as well uh, so now I'm going to do chop the onion and then uh, I'm going to do the prepare the um, the ground beef and uh, get it going and uh, I will get you know show you guys the different uh, steps um, once I've uh, started doing it and uh, I won't bore you to death chopping an onion um, but yeah so I'll, I'll share with you as I'm cooking I'll, I'll change camera so that you can actually see the uh, the cooking portion of it okay so see you soon okay so the next step is to roast my onion and my ground beef so one of the things that I love to do uh, if I can I, if I can do it in time is to go on Saturday mornings to the grocery store and to try to find the ground beef um, that they had left over because all the ones that was good until today is a 30% off so that really shows like it really makes a big difference so instead of eight bucks uh, you've got 30% off of that uh, so I bought three of them because we're gonna be eating sloppy joes tonight I usually prepare my food over in the weekend um, because I work full time and there's just not a lot of time in the, the week to actually um, do the cooking. So I will prepare like my lasagna today and this way uh, when I come home uh, on the weekday it's going to be prepared and it's going to be all good and ready. So now it's just a question of browning the... the the ground beef. Technically you're supposed to use half a pound of ground beef and half a pound of sausage um, but I'm going to use only ground beef and that's what I did last time and it was just fine. Uh, so I'm going to use half of this pack and the other half I'm going to use tonight uh, with the other pack that I've got. So I've gonna, I'm going to have enough for the full family uh, for the sloppy joes. So it makes for much cheaper meals um, if this is something that you can you can do, uh, I really love doing that. But I can't always do it because often I, I'll do the groceries. Like I usually try to get the specials, and so I go through. On my way home, I've got all kinds of grocery stores, so I will go and spend the time to um, go to the different ones and um, and yeah it takes it takes a long time so I usually go on Thursday night do two at that that night and do three the next night so I go and do um, and it depends obviously on the specials uh, so if you're in the Montreal area usually I go to Adonis and to IGA on the Thursday night and then I try to go to semi fruits on the Friday and then um, I usually go as well on the Thursday night to uh, Jean Coutu because that's where I have my P.O. box and so if there's a special there I'll get it at that same time and um, then on the Friday night I'll go to Sammy Fruits and then I'll go to Super C and then I'll go to Maxi um, but then sometimes there's really good deals on the weekend to um, uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, or if in Quebec, if you're in Quebec, you you know it as Farmatry. Um, so I usually go on the Saturdays because they have a one day 
uh, special. Sometimes it's two days, sometimes it's a Saturday and a Sunday, but most of the time it's only on the, the Saturday. And so I'll go and, and benefit from that. And if I do, then I go to the one that's right across from um, from one of the maxis, and I'll, I'll go and check out if they've got meat on special. And then that will base the rest of my, my uh, meal prep. So I'll base depending on what I find on special. So yeah, it's all little things that you try to do when you've got a big family and you want them to eat healthy. Um, I know that you know a lot of people say red meat is not that good for you, uh, but at the same time, it's uh, I've heard I've seen new studies that come out that it's actually not bad for you. So anyway, and for planet, yes, I get it, um, but I also have, like I said, a family of six, and often we have my daughter's boyfriend. So that's four boys that are teenagers, so they need to have their, their meat, otherwise uh, they starve. <laughs> so that's one way of, of making sure that I've got, I've got some protein in there and it's not expensive because ground beef is usually not very expensive, especially if you get it on special. So I'll get this browned and then I'll open up the camera again for the next step. Okay, so my meat is all brown and I'm not even going to remove the grease because there's hardly any at the bottom of this. So I'm going to add my sauce. So they say to, it would have been about one jar, but last time I ran out of sauce in my crock pot, so I'm going to do two jars this time around. Uh, it was not fun um, not having enough last time so and since I've added some some meat um, I know that it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be okay okay so that's that and then uh, I need to add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. So two tablespoons of this. Two. And usually I don't do this in order, in this order, because I need to have two tablespoons of granulated uh, sugar. So usually I will just put my sugar in, uh, put my spoon in my sugar, but I guess uh, since I got it dirty, I can't do that, and I don't want to wash it since I've got you guys on camera, so we're just going to wing it. So one and two. And then uh, for Italian seasoning, it's one tablespoon. So I made my own uh, Italian seasoning because I ran out. So I found a recipe online for it. So I do that. And then I need two teaspoon of garlic powder so one and two and you'll notice that I don't have any of the the lids on it because I when cooking I just find that it's really annoying having to remove them so I always remove them ahead of time so um, I can just put my spoon in it uh, I find that it's a lot easier so for the uh, pepper, I thought there was pepper. Or is it only salt? Oh, half a teaspoon. So we're just gonna go like that. And I don't have any ground one already, so I'm gonna use my pink million salt. So that's gonna be good for that. So here we go. So now I just need to let this, um, oh actually there's one more thing. You need to put a cup and a quarter of water. And the reason why you're doing this is because you're putting your lasagna that is not pre-cooked in the crock pot. So you're going to need to have that extra water uh, in order for it 
to cook uh, and and you know become like regular pasta. So now we just need to let this uh, simmer for six, 15 to 20 minutes and then I'll bring you to the other side where we can put the, um, we can actually do the uh, lasagna put it together. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so now everything is cooked. My, my sauce is ready. So what you need to do is put a layer of sauce. So start off by doing that. And as I said, it's, it's runny, but the reason why it's runny is because you need that extra water for, for your pasta in order for your pasta to cook. Um, but once the, um, the, once it was finished, uh, it was just perfect. So it didn't, it didn't seem runny at all. So then you just need to layer your, your uh, pasta on top and try to cover it the best you can. Some of it will be with overhang, but that's okay. It's not perfect, but I never go with perfect. So then I've got my cheese. So you've got some cottage cheese, as well as um, I'm using cheddar cheese instead of uh, mozzarella and the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't digest mozzarella very well and neither do my kids so it's easier for us to use that sort of cheese instead of using the, um, the mozzarella so I've got my, my cheddar it's all shredded so I shredded it while off camera and then you need to have parmesan so a bit of that and then you put back the sauce and you just continue layering that way until you reach the top and I just realized I forgot to close off my my stove top And you can see some of my uh, tomato skin because when I did my tomato sauce, I didn't remove the skins of the tomatoes. Up to you, depending on what you like. I'm fine with it. Um, everybody's liked my sauce so far, so I'll so try to do this that way. I don't want to burn myself, so try not to burn yourself. And then you put the cheese again. Could have mixed my cheese but I didn't want to because I'm not sure if I'm going to be missing some so it's easier to leave them separate. And it turned out perfect anyway the last time around so I'm just doing the same thing I did. I didn't film it last time um, and I had asked you guys if you wanted to see it and you said yes that if it turned out good to share it with you guys and it was really awesome so that's why I'm sharing it with you now. Hopefully I'm going to remember to put the, add the link in the description box below the link to the website where I found the recipe um, so you can go and check that out this 
basically going to use a full box of lasagna noodles. I have a feeling I'm going to need more cottage cheese. That's exactly why I didn't mix them up together. Not be bad. Uh, might be actually quite about right. Because I could I have two pieces left of lasagna, so I might just finish this off with the rest of the sauce on top because I've got hardly any left. And just put that on top of it. Press it a bit because I can see that there is enough juice in this to to cover my my different uh, pastas. Okay, so so that will be good, and then I can just put the rest of the cheese on top. So I won't need to have more cottage cheese, but I'm gonna need to have more cheddar cheese. Here's my parmesan, and I'm going to put a bit more of the grated cheddar cheese. I used to purchase the grated one, the pre-grated one, but, um, and then I noticed that, well, usually the, the grated one doesn't get on special very often, but you can get these big blocks for much, much cheaper, so that's why now I, I only purchase these. And actually my kids much prefer it because they can eat a piece of cheese or grate it over their things depending on, on what they're doing. So, just want to have a bit on top of every, everywhere. It's already melting so... Okay, and then you just put the cover on and you cook it for uh, four to five hours, I think. Uh, no, four hours. Yeah, well, they said f four to five hours. So, and that's it. It's ready to go and you just, you know, cut it out in the plate directly and it's just very yummy. So I hope that you guys will try it out. I hope that it will inspire you. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. And thank you so much guys for wanting to uh, do all kinds of different things like this with me. It's I find it's just so much more interesting than just doing the crafting. So that's it for now. Bye everyone.